Hello Africa, welcome to it. It is Good Morning Africa, your biggest and brightest breakfast show across the African continent. Now speaking about across the African continent, I'm in the beautiful place called Sarova Sun's White Sands Hotel in Mombasa, Kenya, bringing you all the beautiful places across Africa. It's my first time in Mombasa and I'm about to have an experience of my lifetime. Now if you can see behind me, a beautiful hotel looks amazing. We're just about to find out what this hotel can offer to you guys. So you guys, come with me. Hello. Fine, thank you. Thank you very much. Beautiful place you have here. Yes. Oh, so north side like of Mombasa. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty hot yeah, though in Mombasa, is it? Temperatures are quite high, but kind of expensive. Yeah, yeah, yes. This is rainy season. This, yes. no vehicle. I'm sweating and it's rainy season. There's no vehicle from here. I don't know. No, there is a vehicle. Okay, so uh -huh. why didn't they go to the guys? Wow, there's a vehicle. Did you hear that? It's rainy season and look at me, I'm sweating. I think Mombasa is the place to be at. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, so folks, I'm about to meet the general manager of the hotel. He's gonna give us a breakdown of this beautiful place. And from what I can see, this place is amazing. Stay tuned. How are you, sir? Good, how are you? Thank you, thank you very much. It's a long time, welcome yeah. back. Yes, but this place is amazing, man. This place is so beautiful. Well, this is Sarova Witten, and thanks mm -hmm. for choosing our resort. Well, so we're about to show your beautiful place to the whole of Africa. Yes. So I believe you're going to take us around and uh, show us the beautiful yes, place. Yes, I'll certainly do that. Okay. The uh, Sarova Witten Beach Resort and Spa mm -hmm. is the largest uh, resort on the East African coast. Really? In fact, I actually bet that on the Eastern Africa. Because I was trying to establish the other day whether there is a hotel with 700 beds in Durban. If there is none, then uh, we qualify to be the largest, the largest. on this Eastern Africa. Wow. And uh, we have a history of around 32 years. Uh -huh. And um, we sit on uh, 23 acres of land. We go on the That's long huge. Oh, yes. We go on the longest uh, beach stretch, uh, which is 350 meters uh -huh. of Preston Beach. Wow. So. This is Sarova White, and uh, we're part of a group. We've got around eight hotels, you know, around mm -hmm. the country, and now we're moving to the rest of uh, Africa. Now, if you look around, the architectural design of this hotel is mainly Swahili, uh, Arabic. Oh, nice! You know, Mombasa itself is uh, the history behind it is the Arab traders who used to come, you know, 300 years ago. Okay. And then we had the uh, Portuguese who put up the, uh, you know, the, the fort, mm. and then they met the Africans. The intermarried, and then we have the Swahili culture. Nice. So now, yes, it's it's. I can see now from the way you explained it. Now, if you look around, you see a lot of uh, you know carved doors, mm -hmm. carved uh, you know uh, reception counter. Yeah. You know when you look around the uh, lobby area, you will see a lot of uh, Swahili furniture, which is all handmade, handcrafted. Handcrafted, yes. It wow. Takes, it takes ages to do that. You know, for instance, just to do that, you know, a set of this. Wow. You know, this may not be that may not be that dif difficult, but the uh, the challenging bit is when you want to do something that is carved, like for instance here. You know, the uh, portrait uh, desk. You know, with the mountings and all that. This is all handcrafted mm -hmm. and this takes a lot of precision a lot of time a lot of patience you know to do it now this is beautiful and yes. i'm sure a lot of people watching now yes might want to have this in their homes is yes. this exclusively only to sarova no, it's not exclusively to sarova but we've selected these particular pieces yeah. for ourselves but if somebody wanted to get mm. this for their own it's one is bulky yeah uh, but again we have a few players in the country uh, who specialize you know in sending this abroad mm -hmm. mainly they put you know people buy them all the way from europe canada even in south africa in uh, you know neighboring countries in africa yeah many have bought them when you look around you can see all our doors yes, are all so swahili as well even our post box is swahili it's all carved you know and so then you can see it's all collector's item also on the side there you can see that uh, antique yeah uh, you know so it's all uh, to depict all right so what you basically say when somebody walks into sarova yes they must feel the swahili culture you know when you, you we don't want you to feel that you've been to any other resort mm -hmm. we want you when you come to whitens that you 
come to a special place. Yeah. And uh, any serious resort around the world must have a theme. So we don't want you to feel like you are in any other resort anywhere in the world. We want you to know that you came to Kenya and you came to Kenya Coast, which means you experienced right from the entrance, you know our doorman mm -hmm. is in a nice yes. uh, so the outfit. you know yeah. the outfit. Mm. Right from the beginning up to the entire experience, you know, well food and beverages all will have love to do uh, everything so here in Africa, but at the end of the day you need to get up for other tests as well. Yeah. And also you're here for two weeks. Uh, so you know if you're coming for three days or ten days, but many of our tourists will come on an average of seven days and some for fourteen days. So you need to give them that experience. Now to take you through here, this is our business center. Okay. Now even the business center has borrowed heavily again from the Swahili design of furniture. See, yeah, yeah, you can clearly see. Let me take you. Our business center mm -hmm. has also been crafted in such a manner to depict the, you know, the rich Swahili, mm -hmm. uh, you know, pieces. You know, when you look at it, it's not just something we bought off the shelf. Yeah, this is something uh, very unique, and uh, it took us time, you know, to come up with the stations. Well, the seats is, you can say, well, it's something that you can buy off the shelf. But when it comes to the rest of the uh, furniture, when it comes to you know, the, the tables, you you know, the the, the desk, all yeah. this is llama furniture. All this, all this is handcrafted, and that's what makes the place, you know, unique. You look at the. Uh, I show you around. Even the uh, wind, you know, the uh, this is beautiful, you know, the protection from the sun. We have just the normal window, but at least we call it Masharabia. This is Masharabia. Masharabia. This is very uh, traditional and uh, it's mainly uh, found in the, uh, the Kenyan coast. It's also borrowed heavily from India and the, and the Arab world. Mm -hmm. But all this put together, you can clearly see that there is a lot of time and energy. And, yeah. uh, uh, you know, somebody really thought the entire process. I can imagine how long it took. Yuma, let me explain to you. If you look up, you will see also the uh, roof. We've borrowed heavily also from the uh, Swahili style of mm -hmm. uh, you know, architectural design. The, traditionally, because this place is a hot place and humid, it you, is. Yes, you notice that the, this is uh, Kashorina poles. And then the roof is very thick, you know, so that you protect yourself from the heat during the day. Ah. And then at night, it actually cools down the room as well. Because traditionally, we don't have air conditioning. But in the modern world now, we have air conditioning have and all that. But we still want to show you what a traditional Swahili house will look like. Typically, if you go to any Swahili house, this is what you're going to see. I'd like to take you to our Johari uh, shop. Johari. Johari shop. What does that mean? Uh, Johari is a Swahili word, uh, mm -hmm. which means something valuable. Okay. You know, something special to you. Aye, aye. Yes, so Let's this go is ahead. where you can buy your provision, you know, you've forgotten something. Uh, you can always come and purchase a pair of your swimming gear. Mm -hmm. uh, you can come and uh, get a piece of uh, souvenir. You know, it is here to see. All right. Shall we? Okay. Now again, you can see even here, we've borrowed heavily from uh, a lot of uh, antique collection around, like this piece, yeah. you know. This is, again, it's not something you just buy off the shelf. It's made for you. And these pieces that you have to collect around, the, uh, around Mombasa. And then you make up your, you know, your shop area. So there are a lot of authentic uh, things if you look around. Up here, this is... I see this. Yeah. This is spices. You know, let me lift this. You know. Let me show you this. This is, this text, this is a box. This is a spices display. You know. And the this table is, this at is, the same this is, this is, this is, And it's a table at the same time. This is cardamom uh, seeds. These are cinnamon sticks. You know, black pepper corn. Uh, those are ginger roots. These are cumin seeds. You know, uh, again, uh, this, yeah, cumin seeds over here. So it's all across. You know, you've got everything. You've got mm -hmm. white pepper corn, you've got black pepper corn. A good mix. Yeah. Maybe next time we'll label it for people to understand. <laughs> but again, this is all the spices which are predominantly from the East African countries, specifically, you know, in uh, in Zanzibar, who are just our neighbors. Oh. And if you look around here again, you'll see a lot of things that are very localized. You can see all the, these, you know, Maasai sandals. Yes. These are things that you can buy as a souvenir, very affordable and quite long lasting. And all these are handmade. Wow. That's another un unique thing about it. You know, you may get something similar, you know, let's say from China or anywhere else from the East. Mm. But remember, this is all handmade. And then over and above that, this goes out to help 
the community around. Community well. uh, these are all cottage industries. These are all honey you can see the beads all made nicely. And this is made by Maasai women uh, who are based around the hotel and also the locals who are the Giriyama community who live around the, the Kenya coast. Right, let me take you out now. Okay. Traditionally, this is where a uh, Swahili family or a Hanra family mm -hmm. will always keep all their valuables. Ah. You know, it's solid wood. Again, it's all handcrafted. You see the yes. beautiful... Yes, and then, you know, with the uh, brasso, the copper, you know, side, you know, all this, the decoration all around, mm -hmm. the patterns, all this is handcrafted and takes time to do this. So this is, if you are to come and live the Kenya coast or you like to have a piece, of this, some, is one. this is something that you should not live without. It's quite bulky, yes, but again, it's worth the effort yes. if you ever choose to pick one. I will. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you look around here, you'll see that we've got three massive uh, painting. paintings. Paintings, yes. These were done by a lady called Mary Nicholas some years ago. Mm -hmm. Well, this is by another lady called Geraldine. And uh, this is the view of the old town, Mombasa. There? Yes. When you're on the north coast, and specifically a place, there's a seafood restaurant called Tamarind here. Mm -hmm. Just across, if you look at the island, this is what you see. Ah. And she sat down and came up with this, uh, you know, image where it's, you know, it is connected to the heaven somehow. If you look all the way yeah, up, you know. Closely, and uh, we also have the old port before the new port. Mm -hmm. This is where the old port is located. And that's why you can see the Swahili dows and the old ship. You know, all in uh, you know, Dokia. Now we're living in the central area. Yeah. And when we're here, the, our resort is actually divided into two okay. at this point. So we've got Can virtually explain? almost 100 and, uh, what, 180 rooms on this end. We've got another 140 rooms on this end. So what that means, you, the lobby is right in the center of the hotel. Ah. Now, when you're over this bridge, you can say, well, you're the center of the resort. Now, if you look around, you'll see a lot of water feature. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And this is uh, something our own chairman takes a lot of interest in it because he's, uh, he's very keen on environment. Mm -hmm. And I agree with him because he says without the environment, you know, there is no tourism. True. Yes. True. And uh, to break the monotony, you know, of the, all the buildings, We've invested heavily on, uh, you know, water ponds all around that goes around our main four central areas. Mm -hmm. 